Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a nutritional therapist and today I want to discuss my top tips for joint pain. Whether you're a professional athlete, regular gym goer, or someone trying to keep fit and active, chances are you've experienced some level of joint pain or discomfort. Joint pain can not only hinder our performance, but also our quality of life. So I would like to share with you my top six tips to support joint pain. Number one, improve your omega-6 to three ratio. Now I'm sure you've all heard by now that omega-3 fatty acids can reduce inflammation. But what's more important than just increasing your omega-3s is also making sure we reduce our omega-6 to get a more optimal omega-6 to three ratio. While omega-3s are anti-inflammatory, omega-6 will promote inflammation. So it's not enough to just increase your omega-3s. Now we do need some omega-6 in our diet. However, our current Western diet has skewed this ratio. An optimal omega-6 to three ratio is somewhere in the region between two and four to one. But Western diets high in processed foods can be as high as 20 to one. As we can see from this study, adults with knee pain that had higher plasma omega-6 to three ratios experience more knee pain and functional limitations. An easy way to lower our omega-6 intake would be to reduce our consumption of vegetable oils that are high in omega-6. This would include soybean oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, canola oil, and safflower oil. At the same time, we can increase the amount of omega-3 fatty acids in our diet from fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, anchovies, sardines, and herring. Number two is curcumin. Curcumin is a phytonutrient found in turmeric that produces an anti-inflammatory effect. One of the ways it is able to reduce inflammation is through the inhibition of COX-2. COX-2 is an enzyme that is required in the production of pro-inflammatory prostaglandins. From this graph, we can see that subjects with osteoarthritis who supplemented with curcumin reported reductions in pain, stiffness, and improvements in physical function compared to the placebo group. Number three is collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the body and is especially high in amino acids glycine, hydroxyproline, proline, and alanine. Collagen is the main structural protein making up our connective tissue, which includes our ligaments and tendons. This meta-analysis sought to investigate the effects of collagen supplementation on osteoarthritis symptoms. They found that subjects supplementing with collagen reported reductions in osteoarthritis symptoms with significant reductions in stiffness. Number four is vitamin C. Vitamin C is required for collagen synthesis. So we wanna make sure that we're getting the recommended amount when we are recovering from injury. Vitamin C has also demonstrated the ability to support the immune system and is a potent antioxidant. We can get vitamin C from broccoli, kale, peppers, as well as citrus fruits like lemons, oranges, and limes. Number five is boswellia, also known as Indian frankincense. Boswellia is a resin herbal extract from the boswellia saurata tree. Boswellia is known for its anti-inflammatory, antiarthritic, and analgesic properties. It is able to exert its anti-inflammatory effects by inhibiting 5-lipoxygenase, an enzyme required to produce pro-inflammatory leukotrienes. This study aimed to investigate the efficacy of a Boswellia extract on subjects with osteoarthritis. They found that the Boswellia supplement was able to significantly reduce pain and improve joint function in as little as five days compared to the placebo. Number six is reduce your sugar and processed food consumption. A high intake of added sugar has been linked to many modern day chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and obesity. One of the ways it can negatively impact our body is by increasing inflammation. In this study, we can see that when subjects added a high sugar beverage to each of their three meals daily for three weeks, it resulted in a significant increase in their HSCRP levels. HSCRP is an inflammatory blood marker and is used to evaluate cardiovascular disease risk. However, elevated levels of HSCRP have also been associated with increased pain sensitivity, joint inflammation, as well as reduced tibial cartilage. So needless to say, for quite a few reasons, we'd want to avoid anything that contributes to elevated HSCRP levels. In summary, my top six tips to support joint pain are, one, address your omega-6 to three ratio, two, curcumin, three, collagen, four, vitamin C, five, boswellia, and six, reduce your sugar and processed foods. Well, that's it for me. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe or follow, and I'll see you next time.